and it had to be, we want to open up the season on Stride Pass, okay? And the fishermen's groups saw through, okay, as a red herring. It was really to settle the lawsuit that we said we would carry this regulation proposal forward. The fishermen came out, over 400 strong, and packed a commission meeting. Before that commission meeting, as you all tend to do when you look at a deliberative body, where's your votes? We walked into that meeting, and I thought we had three to two to open up the striped bass fishing season. The angling groups overwhelmingly stood up and said, no, leave our fish alone. The rules and regulations that are currently in place are doing fine. That vote flipped. One commissioner was absent. That vote flipped four to zero to leave the current regulations in place. Don't change it. That's the power of public input. And what we have seen over the last four years that's occurring in these discussions that go on is hunters and fishermen are not organized. What do I mean by that? You guys are getting out boxed by groups that are using social media to put out a call for everybody to show up at a meeting. They have professional trained lobbyists and lawyers advocating for their position and when we go into a deliberative process, there may be three or four hunters that are saying, what about me? What about my traditions? And what about my values? And just hear me out. And it is not gone yet. So if you want to talk about what y'all can do, just think about when there is an issue that's being deliberated that is of importance to you, get your opinions, on record and try to show up in person. And I understand there's often the statement, I work for a living. Those people don't. I can't afford to take time off and go to work. There was just a decision that was passed by the commission. This department did not support that position. And literally, the excuse that I got from the professional fishing guys was, I can't take a day off of work. Commission closed the fishery. Now they can't work. So it's it is a it is a new paradigm. Here. Well, I I understand the fact that you know it's human nature. As long as I got my little niche protected, I'm not going to worry about yours. You know that's human nature. I don't go along with that. You know, versus I never trapped, but I sure cared about the people who did, and then it was out. Because they got all that, they're coming for me next, or they're coming for somebody else. And I've just seen for 50 years, it's frustrating. It's and I want you guys to know that they're just as frustrated. And I, I hate to say this, but our 45 minutes of questioning is up. And I know it went by pretty fast. But um, I want you to know that really, when we have town halls, I've been to several others that legislators hold, and they allow like five minutes of question and answers. And so we want to make sure that we have the most question and answer time as possible. And I want to thank you guys for coming. And I also want to thank these guys for coming from Sacramento and Fresno to answer questions. <laughs> Brad just left. I know he spends a million dollars on everybody getting these hunts that he 
goes on. And so I just know that we have a voice here in Kern County, and we should be respected for that voice, and we're going to continue to fight for you. And, and again, it's it's not, I don't want to say it's not these guys. I've seen, I really did, I told them, like, right. forgive me, because I was like, oh my God, another state agency I can deal with. And then you get to know them, and they're just like us. Okay, yes, Steve, last well, question. Oh, one, yes. Just one question. What's sure. the deal with parity? You guys heard me think? <laughs> what? What's the newest thing between parody and the highway? I, I got started and those guys are paying more than I did. <laughs> yeah. Parody is where we're trying to get these guys paid. Exactly. exactly the, same as these guys. Yeah. the legislature wants to take their weapons because uh, they're not real police officers, according to some of the people in the Democrat legislature. And they encounter more people with guns than they do. No guns. <laughs> <laughs> we enforce their own laws. No, no, no. They are not here. I keep Okay, just thank, thanks to all of uh, for